Sony is known for having a massive library of exclusive IP. And while they've been expanding into the PC marketplace over the last few years, they've always been on the lookout for more games they can take under their wing and hold hostage from the Xbox or the Switch. Everybody knows about God of War. Everybody knows about Spider-Man, The Last of Us. But what if I told you Sony may have scored a deal with one of the biggest characters in the history of fiction? And they're currently working on a brand new experience exclusive for the PlayStation 5. Welcome to VGL, everybody. Chaos here today. We are going to go over everything we know about the very strange leaks regarding a PlayStation exclusive Superman game. And it was leaked by none other than Microsoft just a few days ago in a court filing. Now, I want to say right out of the gate, I don't know if I believe it. In fact, I'm leaning towards not believing it, so don't shoot the messenger here, but we're going to go over everything that was said about the Superman game and whether or not you should believe in it because the situation is deeper than people realize. Make sure you're subscribed, make sure you drop a like on the video. Let's go all the way through it. And a few days ago, an FTC document filed by Microsoft was discovered online as part of an ongoing legal battle surrounding the acquisition of Activision Blizzard. Now, Sony has been doing their best to keep Microsoft from acquiring the Call of Duty publisher, and this has led to Microsoft filing countless legal documents pleading their case and basically ensuring the public that they are within their legal right to purchase the company. Nothing out of the ordinary there. But what is odd is in this document a few days ago, it explicitly referred to a PlayStation-exclusive Superman game that nobody has heard about. The line from the document reads, This uh, first show, the impact of PlayStation exclusives releases on Xbox console sales is X. This applies for big titles like God of War or Superman. Now, given the fact that Microsoft, Sony are giant companies that have a lot of secret projects in the works, a lot of people took this as confirmation that Microsoft knew something we didn't. I mean, after Sony secured the exclusive rights to Spider-Man and Wolverine, why not take the next step? Get Superman. And if you're Microsoft in this situation, you probably don't care about spoiling the surprise for everyone because you have a legal incentive to defend your company. It's not like Microsoft ever signed an NDA about a Superman game with Sony, right? So if Sony's trying to block their deal and Microsoft is trying to defend themselves, it would kind of make sense for them to spill the beans on this. A similar thing happened a few months ago when Microsoft accidentally leaked the release window for Insomniac's upcoming Wolverine game. But then again, that release window ended up being wrong. So it's entirely possible it's just a mistake by the lawyer. So what does it mean? Is Sony working on a Superman game? Well, here's the thing. I don't actually think so. The exact quote was referring to existing franchises and established data, which is why Superman was listed right next to God of War. Personally, I think the lawyers made a mistake here. They meant to say Spider-Man. At the end of the day, Microsoft's lawyers probably aren't gamers and they aren't likely following the exact in and outs of the gaming industry. They also probably not be giving a whole lot of time to research things because Microsoft is throwing everything at the kitchen sink to get this deal done. Superman, Spider-Man, makes total sense. Outside of the possible mistake scenario, it's also, also worth pointing out that roughly there's a 0% chance that Sony secured exclusive rights to Superman. Warner Brothers is the current owner of the DC Universe and all of its characters. And as you know, Warner Brothers hasn't signed any kind of exclusivity deal with any platform, which is why Superman shows up in multi-platform games like Injustice and Suicide Squad. Now, I'm not ruling out the possibility of Sony trying to secure Superman license, and it would be massive if they did, but I just don't think so. At the end of the day, I think it was a mistake by Microsoft lawyers. Sony has put them in a really awkward position and the frantic back and forth between them and the FTC. I think somebody goofed and they put Superman instead of Spider-Man. I don't want to rain on the parade if you're a Superman fan, but I just don't think so. If it makes you feel better though, Warner Brothers is surely working on something for the future. But then again, they also just delayed Suicide Squad indefinitely. So they have a lot of work to do before they get to another DC Universe game. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you soon.